And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Starship Corporation. This is Mr. Kassarian. So, today, what are we doing? Um, I actually don't know yet. I figured this is my most popular series, so I should give it a bit more love. So, I'm still reworking my schedule. So, let's take a look over here at what we have to design in the market. For some reason, it's being a bit twitchy because I'm recording and encoding at the same time. So, my apologies. Uh, we could build this probe. Do you have any active contracts? No. Alright, design probe. Six months on a little bug. Interesting. We could do that. Right, okay, so this is what's happening. So, we're waiting. That's right. Let's look, go look at our technology. We need FTL drives. All right. That's that's the big issue right now. We, we need FTL drives. And transgalactic is probably going to be what we need to do. All right, so... Let's get the time advancing here. We're probably going to get fusion drives before anything else. I'm just watching my cash tick away. I'm like, oh. We will get fusion. Which will free up some space we can use for other things. And just having those transgalactic drives will be useful. Oh, we developed large fuel tanks. That's nice. bit less energy and a bit shorter. Alright, so we will also we'll begin research on that. Good. We'll research fusion. Okay, so this requires energy of six, minus 1,600 kilowatts. Our, our new fusion reactors gives us 900. Okay. And uh, less energy in cooling. Okay, so I want to start working on... What's this? Oh, cool. 450 versus 300. Okay. So let's start that research there. And let's go back to our market. Okay. Another small cargo vessel. Using the Yanamori Yanamori two fuselage. Okay. So let's load something up. We should have a Yanamori. No, we don't. Okay, so we have to do a whole new design then. Let's start the design. Oh, this should be fun. All right. 
So I'm always hesitant to do stuff off camera with this because from what I can tell, you guys like watching me doing it on camera. Um, the full design on camera. So let's take a look. All right, let's drop events out of here. There. Okie dokie. So we have two levels on this vehicle. And the whole design is actually pretty open. Which I like. So let's, first of all, let's take a look at our Transgalactics Alcubier Mistral. That is a huge freaking engine. I mean, that just takes up most of the space right out there. Okay, so speed is good. Range is good. Fantastic. Now we need... What else do you require? Okay, five technicians. How many crew can I have total in this thing? Crew limit nine. Oh, boy. So two pilots, a medic, five technicians. All right. This will be fun. Okay. Let's go up to the top deck. And let's take a look at core modules. Small bridge. We'll stick that here for starters. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go with, let's see. Do 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 defense. Shields. Shields. We'll stick those there. And then we need two pilot cabins. So we'll stick those there. Okay, now if we go downstairs. We also need some power. Uh, computer. Hold on. Let's save this as the, what are we gonna call this? Uh, Let's call this the Voyager CTV. We'll call it that because it's our first FTL equipped ship. All right. Okay. And we want to just take a quick look at, I could have sworn I got fusion power. I could have sworn I had fusion power. Yeah. Apparently we didn't. There we go. Okay. Now we can go up here. Um, let's actually go up and do the fusion generator M. And then we'll go back into ship design. Thank you. We will load a design. The Voyager CTV. Load it. Of course, it's not done yet. Excuse me. There we go. All right. Let's zoom this in. Power fusion. All right, so right off the bat, we need at least two of these. We'll do that. All right. So let's now look at this. 
Okay, we're also going to need at least five crew capacity down here. So, technicians. Tech M. Tech S. Good. Okay. We know those are basically going to go there. So we can hook the power up. Like that. Okay. And then we will also put a... Now, mind you, this is all basically pretty... Temporary. There. Okay, now we need cooling. This should be fun. And we want that to go away. Okay, we need at least 260. So far. So we'll stick that right there. And then we'll also connect cooling. And we forgot to connect power. Okay, so we do now have power. Good. Basic power established. Fantastic. All right. So that's connected. That's connected. That's all good. All right. Now what else do we need? We need to carry 90 tons of fuel. I don't know why, because honestly, it, it doesn't need fuel for its drive system, but... That's neither here nor there. All right, so we have to go to storage, fuel. Got to put a medium fuel tank in this thing somewhere. That looks like as good a spot as any. And we'll just check this. I try and connect this to have as, as few spurs as possible. Okay. So, in other words, we have enough, as many power conduits as possible. Like that, all right? So we're now good on fuel, all right? We need 1,800 tons cargo capacity. Oh boy. That's a thousand tons. So we need 18 of those? No, 1800. Oh, jeez. Okay. That, that was, that was, yeah. So we'll stick one of them in like this. And one of them in like that. Good. All right. Now we're also going to have to figure out going up and down through this ship. So, let's go to infrastructure, connections, and we can stick power there, air there, cooling there, And water goes right there. Okay, good. Now, storage, water. All right, we also have to remember if we go up a level that we're going to have to have at least one medic. Beep. 
We'll stick you right there. Okay, so we're at eight of nine, right? I think we have everyone we need. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, eight of nine? Yes. Okay, good. So we have that there. Now, we have to start figuring out supplies. So, water tank, medium. And we can shove you in right there. Good. All right, so let's start hooking this up now. So we can go with a hatch. Like that. There we go. All right, we have plenty of air supply going on here. Good. All right, so let's go hatch. Put that right there. And then let's go up to B2 to our second deck, upper deck. And let's figure out where we're putting in our lift. Of course, I had the wrong lift selected there, but that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, back to B1 apparently. Apparently our lift is going there. Okay. Hatches, hatch, 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 hatch. We'll put a hatch in there. And we'll hook up the power like that. There we go. Okay, so all of that's now connected. Good. We still need a bit more power, though. We actually need a fair bit more power because we're also going to need... Look at defense. Shields. Yeah, alright. So that water tank's going to have to move. Get rid of that. So we want a shield there, and then a shield here. And then we need to go back and find that water tank. Not the best laid out, but it'll work. So we have the two shields. We're going to need more cooling as well. But I think I know where I can stick it. So let's take a back look at cooling. Yeah, I can stick cooling there. But the issue is I now need another power tank. I need another power unit. How much more power do I need? I need 200 more power. That's going to be overkill. But that definitely isn't. Okay, so we're green down the list. What are we missing? Cooling, computer core, power line, airline, water line, EEVs. Okay. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to put EEVs in this thing. Oh boy. All right. I know I can stick them. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, uh, oh, I know. Okay, so let's get this all hooked up now, shall we? Are 
Are you two not even? No, you're not. Huh. That might bug me. It might not. I don't think it really matters. Okay. So, let's take a look now. We need cooling hatches. We need the big cooling hatches. And we need another cooling hatch. And we need to connect power up. And we still need to connect cooling. Oops, not what I wanted to do. There, that's all connected. Oh, we actually need more power than that. All right, well, let's go back to the ear. All right, power. Probably not. Let me zoom in here. Yeah, all right, we can put it where that water tank is. Yeah, all right, let's look at this. All right, let's get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, rid of you and you, and you. Okay, and let's move, let's see what we can do here. Well, actually, yeah, all right, so let's... We'll put you there, right? We'll actually move you to the other side of the ship. So it really shouldn't matter which way we're putting it. We'll install you there, right? And then we'll connect back to the power grid. I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. Uh, okay. But we're green across the board, good. Now I just have to fit the water tanks in. Uh, what do we go with? That'll do it. All right. So let's actually go into here. And let's do a hatch here. A hatch here. 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 Not there. Yeah, so we'll have to... Yeah, that'll be a bit of a hike, but... That's what we kind of have to do. Alright, so we'll put in a cooling hatch. Right there. Oops. We'll hook that up. that up. We'll get that hooked up. And now let's take a look at cooling mode. There we go. Okay, now what are the issues? Yeah, okay, it's upstairs that's the issue. 
Yeah, life support water treatment, blah, blah, blah. Rooms without access, design not operational. Yep, requirements. I don't know what the requirements are for the builder. Okay, so I think that actually finishes up the episode for right now. I think we'll have to finish this up, I think, next time. I'm just, I'm watching my, my power gauge on my left over there. Yeah, I think we'll have to finish this up next time. Anyways, this, we don't need all these here. That, that, that's fine. Yeah, all right, so let's just hook this up. So, in the next episode, we will hopefully be finishing and beginning the testing on this design. At least I hope we will be. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long, there we go very long design process anyways hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if you did please give me a like comment and or subscribe let me know if you didn't like it let me know what you didn't like and i will endeavor to fix it for you other than that thank you very much and as always ladies and gentlemen have fun building